Styles.
starting the operation. Let's begin. Good luck. Let's move on. Just two more. Dr. Styles. One more left. dropping You did very well See it's simple Well done!
starting the operation. Let's begin. Dr. Styles! Dr. Styles? Use the magnification.
Hilts, me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the metal, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge! Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad, I'll save you. <laughs> Mama, be so proud. I, I, I caught me a duck. Uncle Scrooge, help! <laughs> Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. They might be in trouble. I go. What a beautiful treasure! Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! I uh, did. Are you hurt, lad? Stay here. I'll handle this. One 
billion one. One billion two. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Big Top. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, Kilt. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Leave me, Uncle Scrooge. It's not worth it. Nonsense, my boy. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. When I get the gold, I'm going to buy Ma a new hat. What are you waiting for, the duck? Ow! Woohoo! We almost got them all! If that lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. That thing ain't gonna hide me that way. Oh, dear. Do be careful or you'll scuff the floor. I think I'll bust you with this bus. Your safe is securely suspended, sir. I'm gonna get you! There you are, sir. Oh, that's smart! Everything is ready, sir. Your safe is securely suspended, sir. There you are, sir. That's smart. Everything is ready, sir. Oh, my aching head. You're safe. Is securely suspended, sir. Curse you, Mac Duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Eh, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. Well, pluck me pin feathers! It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys! Boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Brigadoon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. 
Only Uncle and Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. Thanks for the lift, launch pad. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McD, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, launch bad. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquac himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. Launchpad, I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. Hey, no. You haven't stumbled across a pizza joint down there, have you, Mr. McD? I'm getting kind of hungry up here. Uh, I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. This one has an inscription of an eagle. Coin bearing the image of the Queen's horse. 
<laughs> It'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McDee. Showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Look at this. An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> well, and that's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters, for the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. Last time I asked you for help. Is that a promise? one and it depicts the ruling might of a spear. This is Launchpad, Mr. McDee. Come in, Mr. McDee. Launchpad, what was that? Uh, uh, nothing, boss. I'm sure nobody was using that tree anyway. Uh, except maybe them. And Elle. 